grabbed the fire. That was like Gokat no Jutsu. Is that the actual hand symbols? Hey guys, Law from Asians Down Under here. So the last time I did a subtle Asian traits video, I spilled egg all over my laptop. Yes, raw egg. All right, all right, all right. It's, it's in my guy. If you guys want to see that video, I'll have it in the description. Ever since then, I was traumatized because my keyboard was sticky for the next month. The keys would stick every time I pushed them. And to this day, my spacebar does not light up properly. And I haven't done another Subtle Asian Traits video. But guys, it's been over one year now. I've gotten over that fear. Let's go! First post of today by PJ Cho. What post does your mum do? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not just mums. <laughs> I am 99% sure that not only do mums do that, but our girlfriends and wives do those poses as well. Next post by Dan Schneider Arroyo. Me sitting on the bus practicing in my head how I'm going to tell the bus driver thank you once I get off. I used to do this when I was a teenager. I would think, how would I say bye to everyone? I'm glad it's not just me. Apparently 18,000 others have done the same thing. Next post by Julie Shu. Today I tore up my honors program certificate in front of my mom. Oh, oh no. This is juicy. She's not one of those moms that tapes up her child's achievements on the walls. She's the type that never satisfies until the child does exactly what she thinks is best. Choosing to major in design is one of my original sins in my mother's eyes because it's not CS or accounting. CS, I'm guessing computer science, that can easily help me get a job. I've always loved art and design since I was a child and I think majoring in design was the best decision I have made in college. I really, really wanted her to understand that this is my passion. I did a lot of extra things in college just so I can prove it to her that I made the right decision. Yes, girl, you did. You follow your heart, follow your passion. Today I found out that all these honors certificate and design awards mean absolutely nothing to her because they are not putting money on the table. As long as I don't have a full-time job, I'm a failure to her. It breaks my heart to know that she refuses to see what makes me happy. I tore up the certificate because I tried so hard for the wrong reason that my parents would be proud of me following my own dream. From now on, I have no need to prove anything to them. I'm going to live my own life. That is beautiful. Edit, thank you for all the kind words. I'm reading every comment and it makes me feel empowered knowing that so many of you have shared similar experiences as me. Yes, girl. Yes, we have. Now, this is a brave thing to do. For her entire life, she wanted nothing more than parents' approval uh, to follow her passion. And I can easily say this, that if you follow your passion, you know, eventually you will bring money to the table, right? You will bring food to the table with your passion alone. And I can attest to that 100%. If you follow your passion long enough, and do the hard work, eventually it will bring money to the table, not just to the table, but to the household as well. And this is not just coming from my experience, but the experience of my mates as well. I've seen friends who have achieved so much. And this is the problem with, I guess, most Asian parents is that this quote right here, as long as I don't have a full-time job, I'm a failure to her. So the thing is, you got to understand our parents, you know, our parents that came to a westernized country like the US or Australia or Canada, they came here with absolutely nothing, right? So they only survived by doing work, by getting a job, getting paid, you know, working that nine to five shift or eight to five, and they see that as everything, right? We, being born here, being an ABC, a CBC, we have the luxury of being educated here, learning about, hey, what do I want to do with my life? Whereas our parents didn't really have that choice. You know, they worked the hard labor and that's all they've ever seen. Sort of understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, show where you're coming from. You know, have a dialogue with your parents. The other way is just cut that thinking of you're doing it to impress your parents. Start thinking you're doing it 
for yourself. And this is what Julie Xu is doing. And that's brave. That's very brave. And I'm sure I can attest to most people in that situation who's been through that situation. Don't worry because your parents will come around when they see that you're happy doing what you love and when you can make a living out of it. This hits home quite a bit uh, for me. Personally, I'm sure it hits home for a lot of people out there who's been following their passion But for those who maybe just started it is scary, but guarantee you you will accomplish some amazing things that You never thought possible when you follow your passion. That was a very nice post 99,000 likes Wow, a lot of Asians go through this We're always under the constant pressure when we're young of what our parents want and you know when we're young We think our parents know everything when you get a bit more mature, you know, you learn about the world and how it works, you realize my parents don't know everything, right? And 100% they don't know everything. <laughs> but you gotta remember, they will always love you no matter what. It's, all right, I'm gonna read some of these comments. Let's go. Samuel Flamden Rana Bhatt, you're entitled to your life and you can live it whatever you like the best, whatever way you like the best. Yes, I agree, Samuel, 100%. I agree. Design is awesome. Yes. And you'll find a way to support yourself financially. That's not all there is in life. 100% agree. Money is not everything and everyone knows that. Or everyone who's not chasing money knows that. Keep following your truth as strongly as you can and leave her behind if she's not able to care enough to get on the same page. Now that last statement, I disagree. Don't leave her behind. Rock up, show how happy you are. Just show her she doesn't have to worry about you. Don't leave her behind. She's your family, right? You don't leave your family behind because they're your family. And just show that you're happy and you're doing this and you're able to do this. And trust me, they'll come around. They'll be happy for you. And maybe they will apologize, depending what kind of parents you have, you know? Maybe they'll apologize. Can't guarantee that from experience. Should we read more comments? Okay, let's read one more. All right, Fook D. Nguyen. All right, I hope I pronounced that properly. I ain't gonna pronounce it the other way. All right, to be honest, tearing your certificate is actually is actually a fen to what you have been striving for. It is definitely not a mature move. Uh, somewhat agree. Understand that your parents are difficult to you. As many of us face the same, think deeper the next time you tell your achievement to prove a point to your family. Cheers. I somewhat agree, but I can see it is frustration that she did it. And she felt like, Julie Shu felt like she had no choice but to express how she feels this way. It can be offensive to someone, but it also shows frustration. And I totally understand where she's coming from. And I think it's fine. You know, it's just a degree. You can just ask uni to print you another one. You can just say you lost it. It's just a degree. You know, what really matters is, hey, you're on the database at the university, you've completed it, right? And this is symbolic. It's just to express frustration where the parents aren't listening to Julie. I can see their point of view, but you know, you've got to emphasize with Julie, you know, put yourself in her position. Will your passion make you money? Put yourself in their shoes. A lot of our parents came from overseas. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I talked about at the start. And that generation sacrificed everything just to put food on the table. Yes, that is our parents' mentality back then. And that's all they've ever known. So you've got to understand their point of view. I think the best way is just to bring up a dialogue, you know, talk about how they feel about it. And then you talk about how you feel about it, you know, bring two and two together and come to a mutual understanding. You know, we say that like it's so simple, but it is hard, you know, it is hard to kind of have that conversation. So all they think about is making money and that is incorporated in their mind. So for many years, it affects the way they treat you. I used to think the way you did it, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm guessing that's, I'm not those honor students, but as you mature and have reality hit you, you'll see the world more from their eyes. Uh, depends, depends. Depends if you have the traditional mindset. Later on, when you have a family become successful, they only, they will only brag about you. If they are done when you are successful later on, I'm sorry, I wouldn't know what to say to you. Hang in there, you got this. Okay, Julie, follow your passion. You know, as I said earlier, our parents don't know everything. There are times where you will know more than your parents or you will know more than your peers. And that's when you really got to have confidence in yourself and your own abilities, which if you're an honest student and you have all these achievements, I guarantee you, you should have that confidence to just 
follow your passion. Julie, keep going. All right, guys, if I keep reading these comments, it's going to be like 9,800 comments. Next post by Saska Sunny. Recently, my dad started making me breakfast and sometimes lunch as I work from home because he noticed I would forget to eat. Yes, that's me as well. Food is his love language. Cool, let's see. <laughs> that's cute. That's nice. That is so cute. That is true love right there. And this reminds me of um, my own grandparents. My grandpa especially. Oh. What is it? This act uh, reminds me of my own grandpa back then. When I was a kid, my grandpa would wake up super early in the morning. Uh, this was back in primary school, all the way throughout high school as well. He would wake up. Um, every morning, 6.30 to 7 a.m. He would make me coconut spread on one toast and butter on the other toast and he'll make me milk tea and he'll bring it out in a tray as I woke up every morning until like I finished high school um, and you know even thinking it about it now like oh my god I'm tearing holy crap yeah, you know, like I did not understand what love meant until like I was older, 18, and then I comprehended, especially when he passed away. Um, I think that hit me the hardest. And yeah, like to this day, every time I wake up early, you know, I think of Zach the same way I think my grandpa thought of me. I try making breakfast, I'll make him his milk. Um, the same way grandpa always did it for me as well. My voice is breaking. I think there's a bit of dust in my eyes. So sadly, my grandpa passed away when he was 80. That act of breakfast in the morning, and for Saskia, it's breakfast and lunch um, every day. You know, that act itself is true love. And I never knew how much my grandpa loves me, um, you know, until I was like <laughs> fully fledged adult. So, you know, I wish, I wish if I can just go back in time, you know, I'll tell him every time he brought me breakfast that, you know, I love you and thank you. I wish. Oh, wow. Well. Guys, I wanted this to be funny, happy, and it's gonna, ah, uh, okay, I need, ah, uh, man, just memories of my grandpa. Ah, uh, was not expecting this. This really hit home. Really, really hit home for me. I need a break. Oh. I thought I was going to end laughing. I was not planning to end on feeling sad. Alright guys, I can't believe I actually teared up. I was not expecting that kind of video to remind me of my own grandpa. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. If you guys want us to do more of these videos, let us know in the comments below. Please subscribe, it helps us a lot and it is one of our passions. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching our videos. If you like, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share our videos to your friends. And see you guys next time. Woohoo! Subscribe, click, watch more videos.